guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today with a tag video for you. So this is my mid-year book freakout tag. Now, everybody's been doing this for the past two months and I, I'm a little late on the bandwagon, but that is just my life is I'm always a little late to everything. So let's just get on into it. This is my mid-year book freakout tag. Also, I'll go ahead and leave all of the links to the creator and questions down below as well. So question number one is best book. And I went through my Goodreads because that's where I track all of my stuff and I have not had that many five star books this year, which is just a side commentary on what I've read this year. But I've been trying new things, so that might also be why is I'm pushing myself outside my comfort zone and I've been a little bit more particular about what I rate things. Anyway, this is my best book by far for the year. It's one of the only ones I've given five stars to this entire year and that is The Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. Her writing kills me. I know that she's got some problematic things in this series and just in her writing in general, but I still adore her writing and her work and I love her worlds that she builds and they are just so fantastic and addicting and uh, this is my best book for 2017 so far. The second question is the best sequel and I didn't have, I did read a few sequels this year and I weren't, wasn't crazy about them. So this is my best sequel and it is Gwenpool. This is obviously volume two, head of Moduck. And these books just kill me. I love these graphic novels. They are so enjoyable. Uh, if you don't know, Gwenpool is, I thought, uh, Spider-Gwen and Deadpool. It is not. I really wish I wouldn't have done her done it like that, where it, it sounds like it is Gwenpool. Or it sounds like it's Spider-Gwen, but it's not. And it is actually a girl who is a comic book lover and she jumps into the world of comic books and she kind of thinks that she's like Deadpool and she can't die because she knows that she is in a comic book world. And so she has like a lot of fourth wall breaking which is really enjoyable and it's so entertaining and I really loved this one. And like the team ups in here with uh, Spider-Man in it and it's just, it's the Go check this out. It's a fun, fast read. Number three is new release that you haven't read yet, but you want to. And I don't know if this really fully counts because I haven't read the first one, but I'm hoping that I'll read both of these like back to back because this one's about to come out soon. So this is the first one. It is Stalking Dar J Jack the Ripper, and I've heard such good things about this book. Um, it's by Carrie Maniscalco. Scal Skalko. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just murdered that name there. <laughs> but the second book is coming out. Um, it's one with Dracula in it. It's got the same vibes as Talking Jack the Ripper. I heard such good things with this one and I cannot wait to binge these when it gets kind of like more fall time. I am so excited to pick this up because these sound fantastic. Number four is most anticipated release of... No, just kidding. Yes, it is. Most anticipated release for the second half. Uh, and this is either the illustrated Harry Potter edition, I'll pop a picture up right here. I buy these every year and they are fantastic and this year is Prisoner of Azkaban, I believe. It's the third one. So I'm really excited for that one. Or Wonder Woman. I'm really excited for Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo. I haven't read actually anything by Lee Bardugo yet, but I'm so excited for this because I don't know too much about DC just in general. The DC comic world or Wonder Woman so I'm so excited to get into this and see the backstories because I absolutely love the movie so either one of these two I'm excited for. Question number five is biggest disappointment and if you guys have been watching my videos recently you know that this one has been the biggest disappointment. <laughs> um, I absolutely adored Winner's Curse and this the Winner's Curse was fantastic and then I got to Winner's Crime and it just dragged and I did not love this one because it changed scenery and it changed the interactions with the characters and I still enjoyed this. I think I still give it like a three out of five stars but it was still not as good as the first one and I was so bummed out because I was such on a hot streak with that and I flew through the first one and then I came to this one and it just all halted. Number six is biggest surprise of the year so far and that has got to be the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. I was hesitant about this character. I didn't really know too much about her before I went into reading her comics and I have been flying it through them. She's got to be one of my favorite new discoveries of this entire year. She's so fantastic and fun and such a great role model. I highly recommend checking her out. I feel like I'm a broken record at this point because I keep talking about how fantastic she is. Go check her out. If you haven't checked her out, I don't know what else to tell you besides 
it, all of the things that I've already told you. Go check out Squirrel Girl. Question number seven is favorite new author, and that one is actually one that I'm in the middle of reading right now, and that is Mackenzie Lee, who re wrote The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I just really like how she writes and the way that she sets things up and the, I think, especially in the time period, I don't know if it's her writing or the time period that this is in, but it's so good and I'm enjoying it so much and the banter between her characters is fantastic. I definitely hope to read more books by her. Number eight is newest fictional crush, and again, I haven't had too many of these yet this year because I haven't, I've been reading a lot of new books, but I haven't really had too many fictional crushes, but I will say that Ellen Venture is probably going to fall underneath. He's not in my top group of boys that I like to read from, but he is definitely fantastic and I really love his character and he is like finally getting some justice in the third book of showing how just like epically awesome he is, but he is definitely one of my favorites. He is a book lover and philosophical, philosophical, I can't say that word. How do you say that word? Philosophical, philosophical. <laughs> He's a philosopher. <laughs> Jesus, I made that way too hard. But, but <laughs> he is just fantastic, and I love the, his banter and his wit in this. And he is just fantastic to read from. So uh, he is definitely one of my newest fictional crushes. Number nine is newest favorite character, and I am throwing this back into another book that I've already read, and that is Felicity, and she is the sister of the main character in this story, and she is fantastic. She's a kick-butt woman who, in the time period, she isn't really allowed to pursue education, and she does it anyways and kind of hides it, and she's all into medicine, and she, like, is not afraid to put people in their place, and go the extra mile and do things that she needs to do to get shit done, and she is just a fun person to read from, and I like her sass and her, like, almost like angst between her and the main character in this, Hen Henry as well, so I really like Felicity. Question number 10 is a book that, books that made you cry, or a book that made you cry. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that I am not an emotional reader. I very rarely laugh out loud when I read books. I very rarely cry, if ever, if I'm reading a book. Um, I just... I keep it all inside my head. I don't actually physically show any of those motions when I'm reading books. And this book I just couldn't keep it in and you can actually watch the vlog where I was crying because I did a vlog on this book and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin because the last chunk of this book just wrecked me and I was far too invested in the characters and I just lost it. Like several moments of this book I just lost it. So curses you Sarah J Mass, for getting to me. Question number 11 is books that made you happy and I'm going with The Cake Therapist by Judith Fertig. This book I loved when it was in the present day time but I didn't really care for it too much when it would do the flashbacks to the past. That was my only downside of this otherwise I freaking loved this. I have a sweet spot for caking books and it, it's all about caking and it's got like recipes in here and it's got magical realism guys. Caking and magical realism like so happy like I, I hope that you understand how just ecstatic I am with baking and magical realism like just my heart is so happy so I really loved that entire aspect of it and when she was in the kitchen and in her bakery and it was just so good. If I could just tear out the chunks of the past that I get, I know, looking back, hindsight is twenty twenty. I understand like the, the those parts are needed in this book because it serves a bigger purpose, but I would be okay with just the magical realism and bakery in a book and just who cares about the other section of the book. So if I could just rip those off and just read the bakery day to day life with magical realism, I would love it. And question number 12 is most beautiful book that you have bought this year. This one was kind of hard because there were so many good books that I liked but they weren't necessarily like outstandingly beautiful. But then I remembered about this one and I absolutely love this cover. I think it is so cute. So this is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. So it's got the magic pumpkin on it. First of all, I love the gradient of the colors. Um, 
the whole like Cinderella aspect of it. There's so many hidden things in it with the dog and the shoe coming off with Cinderella, plus where she works, the magic pumpkin. And then I love how the glittery the title is, and then it connects. I love when there is wraparound covers like this. So then here is her Prince Charming on this side at his actor studio, and then it says Starfield on it, and it's got his him in his uniform. And there's so many things in the story that connect back to this to the cover that you just see like the t t type of blue in the his outfit that they talk about in the books and I just love how they tie all of that in and it's like gorgeous purple color and in the inside it even wraps around like it's still going so I just really really enjoy this cover and just like they they did no they really went all out there was no stopping with uh the artwork with this so and then on the very front, on the naked cover, it's got the Starfleet logo, which is just fantastic, and that gorgeous blue. So, yeah, I just raved about this book for like two minutes straight, so hopefully I can edit that down. <laughs> but, and question number 13 is what or how many books do you need to read by the end of the year? And I read 41 out of my 50 goal, so I only need 9 more books. I'm obviously going to read past that. I took it a little easy on myself. I usually do 100 books a year. And it's usually like a struggle to the finish at the end of the year to hit that 100 or hundred books. So I wanted to make it a little easier and read 50 books or set my goal to 50. So um, I'm definitely going to make that this year because I have to at least read through like a good chunk of the Harry Potters because I always do that every year. So there's at least probably five that I will finish on there. Um, plus it's only August so I will definitely finish strong on this year and we'll see how far I get. And then question number 14, 14, right? Yes, 14 is favorite video that I've made so far this year. And that has got to be my IRL tag. It is my first original tag and I had so much fun coming up with the questions. I was actually texting my best friend and he, we were like texting back and forth on what fun uh, prompts we could come up with. And it, it's been so fun to come up with the tag, tag people, and then see you guys do it and tag, like, talk about all the stuff and that's been so much fun and I really uh, go check it out if you haven't and please go do it if you haven't I would love to see your answers and then leave me a link down below on that comment or like on that page on that comment um, and I would love to come see and talk about it and share it for you guys so that is all for my mid year book freakout tag and I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye